I just <clears throat> stopped here. Uh, don't even know the name of this town. Um, I'll try to edit that and put it in there. I found this lot, nice little resort. Uh, now we're on the beach. Now we're, we're on the coastal highway. It's veered over to the coast. And I saw this. This is actually the first beach resort I've seen. And they've got cabanas and stuff set up here. People come down here for that. Uh, they rent a jeepney for a day and it brings the whole crew, the whole family down. And then let me try to get you out here on the beach or show you what it's like here. This is called the CRC, I believe. And if you'll look back over here, it goes for quite a ways. I'll try to walk over there in a minute and show you. They spent a lot of money on this place. They got all these concrete, all these concrete trees with lights on them. They could be plastic. Who knows? Come and stop. Wow, the tide's out. Now look at there. Basketball courts all done in cement. And they got these little fake palm trees here done in concrete. And according to the water line and to the beach here, it looks like the water comes all the way up. But with a two meter tide or a six foot tide, it looks like it's about a quarter of a mile out. And then all of these over here are fish traps. And we've got some mangrove trees here. This is along the coast on the east side of Panaya Island. That's a big tide. Six foot, it'll be all the way back up here. I'm enjoying this trip today, guys. I'm not. I'm not in a hurry. I don't have to be up here. I don't have to keep up with Larry on his motorcycle, so I'm able to stop and film some of this for you. They got a nice little pavilion set up there. Looks like a family's taken rented that out. What they do is they'll rent these out for the day. You can get your own cabana. And there's quite a few of them. I'm seeing back ahead of us here. I'm seeing maybe another eight or ten. Grill your own food here. CNC Beach Resort. I think they've got a couple of small cabins back over here. Yeah, there's two of them for rent over there, maybe. Okay, according to that sign over there, it's called the CRCI Beach Resort. This is really pretty in here. And look at this giant tree here. Look at these roots on this tree. That tree's probably two or three hundred years old. I saw one in a photograph recently and this, it looked very similar to that and they said it was two hundred years old. Those roots just grow everywhere. Pretty nice. Only in the Philippines. Okay, I see one, two, three, four. I see about six more back there. So this is a pretty good spot if you want to bring your family here. If you're in Houston, be sure you don't miss the turn that says Manila. That's about the only way you're going to get here. Okay. I came on down the road from the, the uh, IRC uh, resort and we are now in Banate. B-A-N-A-T-E. So that beach resort is in Banate. 
and while I was here I thought I would let you see that old church back there back from the 1800s looks like it's been modified a couple of times but they sure love their churches here and then they've got a little addition over here but here we are we're in Benante I'm probably about halfway I'm having a terrific time that's life can't be any better than this Okay. Okay, we're on video now. Yes. Yeah. Hi. You, you tell me where we're at, okay? What, what's your name? My Where name is Mike Philippine. Oh, Mike. Mike. Mike Philippine. Mike Philippine. Yeah. You're in Banate right now. Banate. Yeah. We're on the coast. Uh, Abante Banate. Okay. This is our place, Banate. Yeah, and that's yeah. your church. Yeah, oh. church. Yeah. Catholic church. The people are here loving. Yeah, I know. Y'all love me. Yeah, loving old people. They love me. All Banatinons are uh, loving. I had to stop and get a Coke. I was thirsty. And I saw these lovely ladies standing over here. So I thought I'd come over and share a Coke with them. Here, you want some? No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. I can't share a well, Coke with time, them because I don't time. want them. Next time? Yeah, yeah. Next time. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Bye. See you guys later. Bye. It's more fun in the Philippines. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What are your names? Carol. Carol. Happy. Ligaya. Happy and Carol. Now, isn't that nice? Carol and Ligaya. Okay. Well, thank you for being on my Philippine journey oh, on YouTube. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 And here we are at the public market. All these tricycles and motorcycles covers the entire city block. <clears throat> but this is Benate. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get on down the road and see if I can find some trouble to get into. And I've never gotten in trouble yet. I've been lucky, I guess. All right, see you in a few. Hello. Now this is Bar Baratak Vieja. Uh, these little towns are all pretty much the same. Uh, but real similar as you go on through them. But just for the sake of making some, some video, I'm, I decided to go ahead and stop and shoot a little bit. Baratak Vieja. Heading up the coast, heading up the highway. I'll get some more good beach shots for you. Uh, my camera last time when I came down wasn't any good. Uh, settings were off, so we fixed it this time, I hope. Okay, see y'all later. I had met the, the one of the top top people with the DENR in Ilo Ilo. Actually, it was in Baratok and Weibo, where their main office is. Um, and they wanted me to do a shoot I'm, uh, on a new, a new park that they had built in the, in the mountains. But I, that never materialized. I've been too busy to do that. But I want to show you something here. And this is a problem for the Philippines. And that's these mountains up here. Look at the mountains, how they're bare. And he was telling me about it, and he told me that they've got restrictions on cutting down trees. But they go down here, and, and, and if you watch my videos before, you know that they make charcoal by cutting down a green tree. Not a dead one, but they cut down a green one, and they make this big teepee looking thing. Um, with, the, with the tree branches, and then they set it on fire, and that's how they make the charcoal. Up here you can see that they've started planting doesn't look like trees it looks like crops but these mountains have been stripped of their trees all the way over to here the trees are got most of the, a lot of the trees are looks like about 80 percent of them are just totally stripped and they make charcoal out of the trees and then they sell them and one one person told me that a family a small family can live off of selling one bag of charcoal per week so if they go down and cut one tree a week and get one, one bag of charcoal out of one tree, 
Did that last him a week? So there'd be 50, uh, 52 weeks in a year, so that'd be 52 trees they've cut down to feed one family. But these trees are barren. Okay, I've got mountains over here on this side. I did see a clearing for the water. The water's actually over here, the sea. And we're, we're not getting up close to them right now, but we'll be up in Estancia and another little town shortly. Now, the next little town we're in is called Colossi. Just a few more kilometers north of the last little place. And as you can see back over here, we've got mountains off to the side. And we've got fields behind us. And then directly behind me is their school, their elementary school, it looks like. Uh, they've got a community center. All, all towns have them. They're in there playing basketball now. And then the big barangay hall. Community Learning Center, and this is a, uh, a multi-purpose building. Probably some city administration. They've got a medical clinic, and then you've got a little sign up there for the place. Okay, I'm still heading heading north, and I should be in Estancia in a couple more hours. Hopefully, I'll get some water steps for you guys to see. See ya.